Good morning, everyone. My name is Monika Stobiecka. I'm a historian of art and also an archaeologist. Uh, I think that uh, in this panel I will represent certainly this more theoretical approach to uh, digital archaeology uh, in terms of using digital archaeology in museums. Um, and uh, I will um, elaborate my idea of uh, my proposition of uh, an archaeological uh, prosthesis on the, on the example of the exhibition in New Acropolis Museum in Athens. Uh, I will go through the description of chosen exhibits, then I will uh, elaborate the, the theoretical <coughs> category of an archaeological cyborg and, uh, and uh, archaeological prosthesis, and I will conclude with some uh, notions on digital material ontology of artifacts. Uh, so, uh, introducing the, the New Acropolis Museum in Athens, so the, the, the opening of this museum was a hot topic a few years ago. Uh, however, the debate that engaged politicians, journalists, archaeologists and historians of art focused mainly on the restitution of Parthenon marbles from British Museum. Few, if any, voices raised the issue of an exhibition that was presented in this controversial museum. Here I, will, um, add, uh, here I will focus on this general idea that stands behind selected exhibits, and at the same time I will advocate that New Acropolis Museum reverses the traditional approach to an archaeological object and illustrates how fruitful may be a balanced marriage between uh, materiality and technology. Those aspects were not mentioned during the hot debates on the New Acropolis Museum, and the, uh, and the displaced concept was widely ignored. I find it crucial to reflect on the narrative presented in the new museum in Athens because not the place of exhibition, London or Athens, not the overall architectural project, but the display of marbles itself shapes the complex perception of archaeological artifacts. The, uh, the preservation and reconstruction work shown on the exhibition represent the clash of materiality, virtuality, and technology, embodying the contemporary zeitgeist, the search for completeness, which do not find any point of contact with the traditional and sentimental aesthetics of the fragment that dominates the universal display at British Museum. In view to this deconstructive narrative, I propose to introduce a category of an archaeological prosthesis that links together issues of materiality preservation and digital turn in archaeology. I will understand an archaeological prosthesis as a substitute, an artificial supplement introduced where uh, the archaeological matter is damaged or absent. An archaeological prosthesis will be an attempt to revise the role of digital representations in archaeological museums and prove that technological support is preferable when we want to deepen our reflection on the ontology of artifacts. Secondly, it will be a category that allows us to name the material digital exhibits as archaeological cyborgs, hybrids entangled in a contemporary pursuit of wholeness. To develop my argument, uh, I will focus on selected group uh, of art exhibits that are presented in New Acropolis Museum. My main, point, uh, my main point of interest will be sculptures and famous elements of Parthenon frieze. Archaic sculptures uh, and karyatides are presented on the first floor in white and well-lighted -light hall. Many of them are supplemented with steel frameworks and foundations, and they are also accompanied by videos that explain the process of reconstruction. Um, marble fragments of Phidias frieze from Parthenon are presented on the third floor. Frieze is reconstructed according to its original place in the temple. It is located above visitors' heads on a structure that is parallel to Parthenon's interior architecture. The missing pieces that are owned by British Museum are replaced with uh, Snow White replicas. And a spacious hall where the frieze is exhibited houses also digital reconstructions of selected metopes that are presented in parallel with original marbles. By supplementing, uh, by supplementing uh, an authentic uh, archaeological object with digital ads, New Acropolis Museum settles an important relation be between fragmented uh, artifacts and technological support, which I name this, this uh, archaeological prosthesis. 
the notion of uh, an archaeological prosthesis uh, is not entirely new. This category appears in studies founded on the perspectives driven from the return to things as well as from the digital turn. Its presence in, archeo uh, in archaeological theory is noteworthy. However, this inspiring concept has been never or hardly never broadly discussed. I treat this idea as a chance to link the ambitions of seemingly opposite archaeological paradigms, the return to things and the digital turn. The concept of an archaeological prosthesis in the, case of new, uh, uh, in the case of exhibits in the new um, museum in Athens, directs our attention to the entanglement of digital and material and proves that we can significantly deepen our insight into past when we wisely combine those two perspectives that operate with apparently contradictory methods and goals. Uh, archaeological processes that are omnipresent in New Acropolis Museum may be divided into two kinds. The first ones are material restorations and conservational support, like structural bolts, uh, support skeletons, three-dimensional prints, or gypsum restorations. And the second ones are digital ads, like reconstructions of exhibited artifacts or digital visualizations. A boundary condition uh, for an archaeological prosthesis is uh, distracted archaeological matter marked by the passage of time. Cornelius Holtorf named this specific feature pastness. Holtorf develops a definition of authenticity which does not focus on the age of artifacts but a specific accumulation of time and the con uh, condition of an object as coming from the past, which are expressed materially through visible traces like patina, destruction marks, uh, fragmentation. Uh, Holtorf points out that the traces were acquired in the past but they are visible now. In case of archaic sculptures, the feature of pastness is revealed, uh, revealed thanks to uh, conservational support. Steel bolts or supportive constructions emphasize the past character of destroyed matter. Videos that explain the process of conservation provide the essential knowledge uh, on the measures taken to save the heritage from the ruin. Like for instance, here. Mm. I hope it will work. Okay, so there's a connection. <laughs> we should have this hope that, yeah, okay, so everything is working. Okay, so the idea of fragile archaeological matter may be more evident when we examine the exhibit through the concept driven from preservation science. Many of the videos that stand next to the precious sculptures, like this one, present step-by-step -step conservation processes. Visitors may see injections given to sculptures, and this medical procedure demands further reflection. In many publications and research papers on preservation of heritage, the medical imagery surprises the reader. Treating monuments and artifacts as patients and using the metaphor of treatment that has a suggestive significance to the non-animated matter, especially considering the nature of, uh, the nature of preservation science publications that, use, uh, that usually use condensed and concise format of scientific text. The, uh, the medical nomenclature used by conservators representing the praxis validates the concept of an archaeological prosthesis as a compensatory supplement, a result uh, of care that we uh, currently apply uh, to monuments over the sick. Uh, medical intervention, however, is the first step in concerning an archaeological prosthesis as an embodiment of contemporary zeitgeist, a uh, pursuit uh, of wholeness. As Donna Haraway points out while conceptualizing the figure of cyborg, Modern medicine is also full of cyborgs, of couplings between organism and machine, each conceived as coded devices. Reading the conservational films through the medical metaphors offered by scientific language pro uh, 
provides insight into materiality and autonomy of an artifact, as well as its potential to become an archaeological figure of a cyborg that is coded as historic decayed matter and at the same time as a fully revived original object. The gravitation towards an archaeological cyborg equipped with archaeological prosthesis is even more evident on the example of digital reconstructions of selected metopes of Parthenon frieze. Visualizations present the original polychromy of Parthenon frieze. They are placed in parallel with original metopes. At the same time, we see different temporalities of the same artifact, authentic, grayish, fragmented matter and its colorful ori original form. A, digi a digital supplement is here an extension of the object. As a prosthesis, it gives the object the original appearance that could not be restored without a violent material intervention on a fragile body of an artifact. Virtual models and uh, digital reconstruction that uh, digital reconstructions that constitute non-invasive supplements of artifacts have an obvious epistemological dimension. They allow to visualize the unimaginable. In this case, they help to restore the colorful polychromies. The cognitive value is of great importance for the didactive model of museum. And in this case, I would argue that, uh, that this common belief that technologies in museums are limited to satisfying the modern need for entertainment and should offer touristic products is somehow uh, not, uh, not, uh, not, not <coughs> present. The example of digital reconstructions of uh, Parthenon frieze is also uh, symptomatic in terms of deepening our understanding of an archaeological rec uh, record. Digital technologies here guarantee a compensation. They restore the past, but they save the pr fragile and precious original in its current form. The possibility of supplementing artifacts correlates with the contemporary pursuit for the completeness that is far from the 19th century uh, cult of nostalgic fragments. This ontological reversal that is based on restoring the past in digital form and at the same time saving the past in contemporary matter deserves a further examination as a sign of practice changing. Thanks to this material digital support and this translation, in fact, uh, in artifacts temporality, we can switch our understanding of archaeology that already now is not understood in terms of destruction practice, but the practice of saving. Uh, so the example of uh, exhibits from New Acropolis Museum is crucial to understand that the process of deepening our reflection on the ontology of an artifact should be a result of a negotiation between material and the digital. At this point, it's, it is worth emphasizing that, as in other digital domains of archaeology, also in museum, uh, digital supplements should be understood as methods, not as goals, and as such serve as means for creating new inspiring narratives. The subtle and non-invasive application of digital supplements in New Acropolis Museum may be a fertile ground for further theoretical discussion on digital material ontology of artifacts. New Museum in Athens offers a compromise between fully digital immersive environments that often seduce us with questionable vision of past and traditional ocular centric displays structured by the idea of almost sacred fragment. I see the digital prosthesis in New Acropolis Museum as a form of a very wise and reasonable usage of multimedia. The gradual introduction of exhibits from material through, uh, through, through preservative to digital is visibly grounding digital prost uh, prosthesis in archaeological matter. This process is a form of mediation between archaeology turned to matter and archaeology that is digital. Matters stay in the center as a subject of care, of studies, uh, of non-invasive reconstruction, uh, uh, of non-invasive reconstruction, and of course of visitors' interest. Uh, the way of displaying, uh, displaying uh, an archaeological object in parallel with digital supplements authenticates our experience and allows to deepen our insight into past matter. Exclusive focus on immersive realms or on sacred idea of fragment gives us only a partial <coughs> image of an artifact. However progressive, this intervention proves that Europeans cannot imagine a museum without oratic artifacts. A form of negotiation between traditional display of marbles in British Museum and immersive digital environments that are slowly dominating other institutions proves that New Acropolis Museum is taking a slight and safe step forward. And certainly it is a step forward matter, not the digital illusion. 
An archaeological process uh, in a form of digital support is understood as a substitute for loss or absence in a fragmentary artifact and as, as such leads to re-evaluation of thinking about technology and conservation in archaeology. It may be a powerful idea to reconceptualize ontology of fragmented artifacts. Matter is here grounded as a subject of interest for hard science, preservation science, medical imagery, and digital applications. An archaeological prosthesis that leaves us with an image of reliable ob objective reconstruction that still sends us back uh, to authentic greyish matter, to what is missing and what is absent. Virtual and material prostheses, which are a reaction to the reality of colorless, fragmentary but original sculptures, become a Heideggerian gestalt, the idea of unframing, which means the way of revealing, which holds sway in the essence of, uh, in the essence of modern technology, and which is itself nothing technological. Virtual ads and conservational interventions therefore function as a technical scaffolding that extends our possibilities of discovering an artifact. Pastness, destruction, uh, and damages that are fully invaded clash with modern pursuit for completeness. In the world where everything is based on totalizing systems, we do not remember about partiality or incompleteness. And the archaeological prosthesis is a category that leads us to asking questions about ontology of the incomplete, uh, what the artifact is, if it's not already what it was, what the artifact was when it, when it was not an artifact. Thank you very much.